the Sports Vote Campaign Podcast. Invest in sports. Hello and welcome back. Today is Sunday, February 6th, 2022. And this is It All Began in the 70s, The Boy in the Bubble, Season 3, Episode 16. So, starting probably in my early teen years, I would often hear people say things to me like, you live in your own world, you're the boy in the bubble, you live in a bubble. Frankly, I didn't understand what this meant probably until about 10 or 11 years ago when the economy crashed and ASM went down um, 2009, when I went from uh, hero to villain in 24 hours, basically, because of the um, financial crash that took everything apart, including ASM. Took apart our deal with uh, United States Futures Exchange. And, you know, I've, I've spent a lot of time thinking about that and why that term was used on me and what can be learned from it. And I would say it was talking about my innocence as far as the view, my view of the world and people's intentions. And since I hadn't had any failures to speak of, any significant ones in business, um, up until that time, I never really had that moment of testing of my relationships. Uh, it was it was essentially very good to be my friend because I give you a job, I had contacts, help you to do whatever you want, and all of a sudden that evaporated and people's true nature came out, and I had never seen it before. And frankly, um, I really didn't even believe that bad things happened in the world. That may sound extremely hard to believe and naive, but since at that point, about uh, 12 years ago, really, I mean, I personal experiences, I really hadn't had anything happen directly to me or to anybody around me, and the businesses I built went from success to success to success, so I really didn't get exposed to the downside of the world until it came in one sudden shock with the crash of the economy and the resulting trouble that, res- that came from that. Um, all different kinds of trouble, to, you know, all directions. And so I was naive up until that point, very naive. And uh, it wasn't because I wasn't taught differently. My dad is a Vietnam veteran and has kind of seen the worst of how things are. Um, and he's Interestingly, he's kind of a negative, pessimistic kind of person. Now, you know, pessimists never say they're pessimists. They say they're realists. But everything with him is, uh, especially as he's gotten older, it just seems to be the downside of everything. So it's not like I didn't hear that. But I just didn't, I I always looked at the uh, best case scenario, the positive outcomes. You know, I always looked at the world through what was possible and the bright side of things. And it worked. Uh, and, it, and frankly, it still works if I if I didn't uh, pick out the positive elements, focus on those, and, and move towards those things. Then um, the the all sports market project would have collapsed more times than I could count uh, along the way, and especially in the last few years. Um, and in in my personal life, I don't know that I would have made it through some of these difficult challenges if I didn't see the world that way. So uh, it's a, you know, I don't know if it's a choice. It seems like part of it came built in because, again, my environment didn't really favor that viewpoint. Um, I wasn't taught to, you know, shoot for the moon, so to speak. Not from my family. Now, I did have some folks in the um, accelerated gifted programs, and that's, you know, in the school setting that did have that sort of view. And maybe that's part of the reason, but some of it just seemed to come baked in. Um, And in spite of all of the um, challenges that came along, I would say the the worst of it has been the last 12, 13 years. Prior to that, everything was pretty smooth, frankly. Um, Far smoother than I came to understand through listening to other people tell their life stories than is normal, frankly. Um, It's amazing I didn't have more... Um, difficulties than I did. So my view of looking at the world through rose-colored glasses or however you want to call that, it was just normal. It was normal and it was justified. So 
Anyway, that's um, that's a little bit more insight. Um, please um, support this work if you can. Uh, there's details in the in the show notes along with updated resources. And again, 140% comes right off the top and goes to educational programs in the United States. Thank you for your time, and I'll speak with you again in two weeks. Bye now.